What up, folks? It's your boy Tim, a.k.a. Chicago. And an impromptu corner, as you can see. Just make this one up. Anyway, I'm just coming to you real quick. Looks like the city council of Minneapolis just settled with the family of George Floyd for $27 million. So this one should make some news, and it's definitely going to be worthy of an opinion. My opinion is that has a lot of freaking money. <laughs> um, you can't bring the guy back. We know that, but... Um, I would love to know what they're basing it on. I mean, you're going to, he obviously had some earning potential considering his age. He still had time for the rest of his life to work. And then there's obviously huge amounts of emotional damage done to the family and, you know, removing that, that earner, whatever he would have been capable of earning from the household comes with a price tag. But the, we can, we can go back and forth for the 27 million. But the other question also is they're giving this, uh, settlement during the trial. Right now, they're still selecting jury members. The trial is not even expected to begin until late March. And here it is, March the 7th or 8th or whatever it is. So two, three weeks early, they're giving them the money already. So what does that say to the defense, to the cop being uh, prosecuted? It basically tells <laughs> tells the cop that the city and the state or the city council has already threw you under the bus and admit that you're guilty before you get your fair trial. I think the guy's guilty as hell, yes. But at the same time, I would understand if the defendant or the defense, his team of lawyers, were very upset because that pretty much undermines their case. I mean, the jury... I don't think they're well. They haven't even been selected yet, so they're certainly not sequestered. There's, it's going to be. It's already difficult enough to find a jury that has not heard of this. Now you got to find jury members that do not that have not heard the city already agreeing to give the family of the deceased a record-breaking settlement. So yeah, this is definitely a negative for the uh, for the cop that's being uh, tried. Not to not to mention not just that cop, but there's going to be three other ones that are going to be facing lesser charges coming up later on. So I'm sure none of them are happy about it. I'd love to know your comments. What do you think about $27 million? Too much? Too little? Just right. I uh, would love to know that. And uh, what do you think about in terms of, what do you say, due process, innocent until proven guilty? And then you having the city undermine your pursuit of getting an acquittal by giving the family of your alleged victim $27 million. Like I said, I personally believe the cop is guilty as hell. Nine minute video, guys pleading for his life. He goes from completely able to resist arrest to completely lifeless in the nine minutes you're on his neck. So I don't think there's much of a case there, but there are people who do. They're bringing up fentanyl. He died of fentanyl abuse, et cetera, et cetera. So I'd love to hear your opinion on it, but I'm just going to drop this short one on you and ask, what do you think? $27 million. Too little, too much, just right. Holla at your boy.